Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's multiply by 8. I remember that multiplying by 7 and multiplying by 8 always were kind of scary because those were big numbers and we ended up with numbers that were not that easy to memorize. But there's some neat tricks. However, all that said, we should, we should still try to memorize the numbers and still try to memorize the multiplication table. Notice that 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, and 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 9 is 72, and 8 times 10 is 80. Always remember that 8 times 2 is the same as 2 times 8, and 8 times 3 is the same as 3 times 8, and even though it says 8 times 3, it may be easier to remember it as 3 times 8, which is equal to 24, and sometimes just reversing the two numbers helps to figure out what the number is. Nevertheless, there's some neat patterns here and some interesting ways in helping us figure out how to multiply times 8. Notice that in both columns here, the end number is either an 8, a 6, a 4, a 2, or a 0, and it's sequential order like that from 8 to 6 to 4 to 2 to 0, and then again 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. That makes it easier to figure out and remember what the answers are. In the first case, we have 8 times 1, which is 8, and 8 times 2, which we know ends in a 6, and the number that goes in front is a 1. 8 times 3 ends in a 4, the number that goes in front is a 2. 8 times 4 is a 2, the number in front is a 3. And 8 times 5 is the halfway point, that's half of 8 times 10, which is 80, half of 80, which is 40. Then when we go to 8 times 6, we take the halfway point and add another 8 to that. So 40 plus 8 is 48. 8 times 7, there's that neat little trick again that my wife used on our kids where we remember the numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, so 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8, we know it ends in a 4, and the next number in front would be a 6. Notice we have a 4, a 5, a 6, and a 7 in front. Here, 8 times 9, well, I do 8 times 10, which is 80, minus one of the 8s, which gives me 72, and finally, 8 times 10 is 80. Always remember that the number in the front, we have 8, now we have a 1 and a 6, a 2 and a 4, a 3 and a 2, and a 4 and a 0. Here we have a 4 and an 8, a 5 and a 6, a 6 and a 4, a 7 and a 2, and an 8 and a 0. The pattern is always there, and if you see the patterns in numbers and math, math is a whole lot easier for us. So that's how we deal with multiplication times 8.